it's really very individual. Um, and I think the first thing that you should sit with is what do you want, right? Like, mm -hmm. what what do you want in in your relationship to be? How do you how do you want things to be? I'll share with you my experience when we talk about polarity. I mean, I think it would be fair to say that the domain of finances and money is uh, masculine. And if you look at a, a bunch of different like spiritual money cultures, especially women, they talk about money is energy and money is the masculine energy. And you, you need to attract that into to your life and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. and it requires a lot of decision-making and strategy and things like that. So mm -hmm. I would say that that is the masculine domain. Now, it doesn't mean, and then here we get into the, this, it's a very complicated subject because I don't want to be prescriptive about this and saying, well, your man should handle all the money and you should just handle your money or whatever. You know, there's, again, um, I think that it's, it depends on, on every couple and you, as a woman, but, but I, I got to say this about polarity um and especially being married and, and and having children and all of that there's something about being a feminine essence woman who wants to feel safe and taken care of especially if you are considering children or if you have children but even if you don't there's something in your body that's designed to create children therefore you want to feel safe with your man like when you are with a man who you can trust to take care of you and to protect and provide and that can look differently for different women, then you feel safe in a the relationship. Then you know that, oh my God, if shit hits the fan and I have a two month old on, on my arms, um, you know, I, I'm not forced to go to work and uh, to, to, to survive. Obviously there are situations like this when you gotta do it together and you know, you gotta like, okay, we're all in. But I feel like as a woman, you would have to have the choice not to if you wanted to. Like, for example, for me, and my example is not a very good one because me and my husband run a business together. <laughs> like, that's a whole other dimension, dynamic mm -hmm. and something that I would probably not recommend because it's very, very hard to be business partners and marriage and when money is in like all of that stuff. But Mm -hmm. let's say we weren't business partners right because we were not always we were business partners at, at one point I just had my own little blog and my own little podcast and he had a job right and so I knew that I could feel safe with him I still feel like you know even if things go to hell and I don't know you know I don't know he, he will lose everything whatever I still can trust my man to go out there, get a job and provide, right? Like make money for us and take care of us. So there's that aspect. Now there's another thing in terms of how you manage your money. That's a different thing. And we can talk about things like, well, how as a woman you protect yourself and things like that, which I don't like to have these discussions because that goes again into the realm of you need to protect. Although sometimes I do think about this. Um, and I make sure, like, you have to be also smart about this. So we, I'll share with you how it works in my family. My man, my, my husband is responsible for the well-being, the financial well-being of our family, which means he's projecting into the future and thinking of the numbers and doing all the contracts and accountants and investments and yada, yada. How do we buy a house? How do we build the house? Things like that where I take care of, you know, other things, which are my domain, my domain like children and kitchen and take care of like the meals and the, the you know, we've just divided it that way. Um, and again, this goes into this whole thing of 50-50 doesn't work. Now, it doesn't mean, so he's responsible for it. It doesn't mean that I'm not involved in the money generating activities. Like, you know, we could say that even the school could be money generating. I'm the face of the business. So obviously I am involved in a lot of the money generating activities. I'm also involved in a lot of the money, if not all of the money, money decisions that we make together because we make these decisions together. So uh, that, that's, that's what I would share with you, how it works for me. I think when you look at your specific situation, decide what you want and what's not working. 